Welcome back to Skyrim Elder Scrolls 5 with the Rude Man and Katmandu and what the hell? Is that that dragon that was playing with us last night? Ow! Alright, what's that all about? God darn it, sit still. Damn frost dragons. Yeah, if it wasn't cold enough in Skyrim, you got these guys blowing their cold, fresh air. Alright. Do we have a shot available? Unrelenting force? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay. Did he land back there somewhere? Oh, why do he have to fly away? Where did he go? Yeah, we'll take this. There. Now you like that? Yeah. That's for playing with me last night. What do you think of that, Inigo? <laughs> well, take it behind the tree. No. I don't think I need the arrows. Well, I'll take my arrows back. And the gold. I am here for you. I thought you had to go to the bathroom. Go find a tree. Alright. Good thing we just emptied our inventory. Let's give Horsey some of this uh, heavy stuff here. Okay, Horsey. Um... You can take the dragon bones. Now, unfortunately, when I went to Whiterun to get rid of all my stuff, um, I didn't get everything from the horse. I don't think. Anyway, there we go. Alright, so where were we going? We were going to... Bitter Wounds, see what you can find out at the Tall Mast Tavern. And the closest area to the Tall Mast, if I remember, was Morithal, because we have to go that way. So, let's get out of here. We'll head up to the road. What's all the running for? The dragon's dead. Yeah, they are smelly. I don't think they bathe all that much, those dragons. They're afraid of getting all their gold wet, I think. Now, am I going the right way? Yeah, okay. We need to go out to the main road. Um, dead werewolf. I don't know. These werewolves seem to have a pretty tough time of it. Because you sure see him. That was probably one of those j gibbering ones. Um, I'm, I'm thinking it's a feral werewolf. Uh, the ones that are usually in packs are pretty decent. So I gather. But the feral ones... Um, they can't handle it. They go nuts or something. It's the, I, think, I think maybe they get bit, they become a werewolf, and... They don't have anybody to tell them, you know, what to expect. And then this kind of going to go crazy. Oh, got him. 
Well, geez, where did he go? Oh, there he is. I thought he went in the water. Well, I got the venison. In he go. You're pushing me in the water. Stupid cat. All right, where are we at now? Tall mist. It should be right off the side of the road. We should see it plenty easy. Is this place full of bandits or something? Oh, you picked the wrong time to get off your horse. Oh, look. What the hell? Why are you attacking me? What's going on there? Uh-oh, who killed them? A novice necromancer. Oh, man. All right, you guys have had it. Oh, well. Come on back, guys. They didn't see... Zora, come on. They didn't seem to be attacking us. It's... They're stupid skeletons that are attacking us. All right, uh... Yeah, we'll grab the horse here. Come on guys, mount up. We've had enough. I don't need to make trouble. We got we got the skeletons, they're the ones that were causing the issue. One of these days we'll have to go back and get those necromancers though. Necromancers though. Alright, is this the place? The Tall Mist Tavern. I think this is it. What? No hitching post? All right, let's go teepee creep in here. Do we know what we're looking for? All right, we're looking for a whore. Are you a whore? Yeah, you're a whore. Um, yeah, yeah. Ooh, uh, I'm looking for a high elf named uh, Arendil. Do you know him? Well, handsome, I only provide one kind of service here, and information ain't it. And Besides, good grammar is neither. I never kiss and tell. What you see is what you get with me, sugar. So, if you're not interested in my company, I suggest you go to the bar and leave me be. Um, I have money. 15,000 gold? Well, on second thought, I could use a little company. No, 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 no. Um, I don't need that kind of trouble. Uh, besides, I think Zora would probably take me out. Um, I've never met a woman who doesn't like a little bit of gold. Well, baby, if you're feeling that generous, maybe I know a little. But I was hoping to get to know a handsome man like you a little better. Well, keep hoping. It's a pity. I think I'd love to feel those hard muscles under all that soft. Mm -hmm. I I'm pretty skinny. Tell me what you have about you know about this man. About him? Nothing much. Oh, great. He's been here to see me a time or two. Not very, uh, impressive, if you ask me. But that's another story. Don't be wasting my time. Hold on, sweetie. I'm getting to it. All I really know is that another one of the girls said someone else came in here looking for him <coughs> yesterday. She said instead of a tall mast, he was more like a limp sail. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. But she said he sure did his share of talking. I guess if you can't be good at, well, you know, something else, talking is the next best thing. Well, I'm a pretty good she talker. She said he was one of those kind you wouldn't want to tell any secrets to, if you know what I mean. He said his name was Manon. Anyway, he said he would be taking a ship out of solitude back home soon. For all I know, he might still be there. 
Now, if you don't need me for anything else, I have customers to take care of. Are you kidding? That amount of gold ought to paid for you for a week. Uh, that's all I need. Mm, that's a pity, honey. Yeah, your loss, I guess. Uh, come see what the guy in the tall mist. Go see May Manon in the Winking Skeever. Uh, so I told you we were going pub jumping or pub hopping or whatever. Nice outfit, though, Deanna. See, Zoro, I can be good. Alright, I guess we're going to solitude. Come on. Where'd that... Uh... Where's he at now? Looking for another bathroom? Where's the door? Man, it's dark in here. Where's any go? We lose him again. Oh, that guy. Yeah, he's probably out looking for a tree. Alright, let's head to solitude. Well, we made it without too much trouble. There's Inigo. Now we've lost Zora. Oh, there she is. Okay, so we need to go to the I'll Winking Skeever, but you know what? I find the air here pleasant. Before we do that, we promised somebody a long time ago. Um uh, Okay, we're supposed to find a soldier named Aldous in the uh, Imperial Legion and ask him about Angeline's daughter. Now Angeline is the little woman that runs one of these shops. Uh, you can afford a septum or two. Bits and pieces, no, I think it was Yeah, it's Angelines. This is Angelines. Her daughter joined the uh the service and was sent to White Run and something happened and she hasn't heard from her and she can't get the Legion uh the local Legion to tell her uh, what happened to her daughter. So we told um, we told her that we would look into that for her. So, let's take that one and uh, see if we can find this Aldous. I see a lot of soldiers coming from this way. we see anybody that looks like the main guy? Hey, we're looking for somebody named Aldous. There you are. Those rebels better not try coming to Hoffingar. Yeah, now this is kind of a stupid question. You're with the Legion, right? That I am. Train the recruits. Turn boys into men. That sort of thing. Uh. Thinking of asking the general for some training books. Give the soldiers something to do while they're on rest. Something besides drinking. Ever seen a book drinking the mirror? We used to hand it out to boys looking to learn basic shield work. Okay. If I find a copy, I'll bring it to you. Good on you. All right. So uh, you're the presiding. O you're re presiding over the execution when I came in the first time at uh, to Solitude. Not my finest hour. Rogvir was a fine and honorable man. So you think what he did was right? How could you execute a fine and honorable man? Sometimes you just do what needs to be done. You don't have to hate a man to kill him. Mm, I guess Though, not. Admittedly, it helps. <laughs> I suppose it does. Um, so um, I've been talking with Angeline, and uh, she asked me to ask you about her daughter. Generally, posting information is need to know only. Well, I think she needs to know. <laughs> I, I've been trying to find the time and place to let her know. Her daughter was sent to White Run. The skirmishes there have been violent. The White Run legate he needed to know the Stormcloak positions. He sent out a party to scout the area. They happened upon a large force. I'm told none of them made it back. Private Morard, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. Well, why haven't you told her? Are you kidding? So I have to do the bad news. Hmm? Yeah. Well, I'm not very happy about that. <sighs> okay, guys. Come on. We've got some bad news to...
give to Angeline. I don't know why it has to be me. If you're looking for potions, you should talk to my aunt, Angeline Marard. Uh, who said that? Your aunt? Yes, my friend. Which one is... Alright, well, I let's get this over you. with. Hello, Angeline. Ah, it's good to see a fresh face. You wouldn't have happened to come from White Run, would you? Didn't we already go over this? Yes, I did. Uh, if you're not all right. Drink that wine, uh, you should sell it all. I hate to do this. You got Aldous to tell you something. I knew you would. What did he say? Well, I'm sorry, but it's about your daughter. I told her. I told her the Imperial Army would kill her. That this was a war of Jarls and Imperial Generals, and we had no part in it. She just wouldn't hear it. It was brave of you to come to me with this. I can't thank you for it, not for this. But you have done me a service. Yes. All right, that was hard. I, I would have... I would have you rather uh, something? fought those necromancers or some bandits than do that. At least I know how to do that. Okay, let's go to the skeever. You know you, can you couldn't possibly be the dragonborn of legend, could you? Well, I'm one of them. I don't know if there's a legend, but... I think there's been others. Okay, so there's we're looking... More to be done. We're looking for somebody named Manon, was it? Why is there a little girl in the tavern? This scene looks comfortable. There he is. Oh, and he's an F. You had to be an F. Manon. I'm looking for a high elf named Ann Arendale. Do you know him? What? Who? You must be mistaking me for someone else. I know no one by that name. Really? I think you do. The word is that you're involved in a slavery trading business. What? That's absolutely preposterous. Really? How'd you like it to become public no uh, knowledge? You can talk or I can kill you where you stand. Yes, I know I'm probably no match for you. I'm only armed with a little dagger. You wouldn't kill a defenseless man now, would you? Oh, I've done it before. Last warning, Doc. Very well. I will talk. But only if you guarantee me you'll let me sail back home. No. Alright. It's not you I want. I don't know. I never met him, actually. I only met with one of his... associates. An old bandit named Gunlug. Gunlug? Some say his last name is Forktan. But I wouldn't know about that for sure. All I know is that Erendil sends the product to Gunlog, and he takes care of getting them smuggled out of Skyrim. Where can I find this Gunlog? I don't know exactly where he is, but I know they smuggle the product out of Skyrim from an old shipwreck in the coast northwest of here. I heard they used an old frozen cave to hold the product, and then use boats to transfer them out to one of their ships at night. My ship is, is supposed to be on its way there now. I swear to you, that is all I know. So your product will not be shipped as you hoped? It would if I can help it. No, I suppose it won't. Not now, at least. Yeah, you need to leave Skyrim on the next ship. Yes, yes, of course. As I said, I've already made those arrangements. All right. If I ever see you again, well, you know. You needn't worry about sacks. No, no, I'll take my leave of you. Should kill him anyway. 
We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our need lives. something. And when Southern Guard back seems there's always more to be done. Dies. All right, guys, I'm gonna get something to drink while I'm here. Where's Papa the uh, I won't see Rob here and we'll see it quite clean why not? of the scourge that has welcome to the winking skiver. Yeah, why are you on this side of the bar? Are you drunk or something? Um. Um, he really doesn't have anything to say, does he? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Yeah, of course. Um, let's see here. Let's get, um, venison chop, some Nord mead, uh, chicken breast, and maybe a little ale. That's good enough. Remember the winking skeever next time your foot's sore. Okay. My papa says I'm gregarious. Just like him. He says it means smart, but my brother says he's wrong. <laughs> What's your mother say? Because it doesn't matter what the rest says. It's what mama says that counts. Well, guess what? We're heading to the coast. Go investigate the shipwreck Maiden told you about. Oh man, I bet it's gonna be cold. Oh yeah, you know it's gonna be cold. Oh man. Alright, let's head out. Grab the horses. Do we have everybody with us this time? Yeah. All right. We're going to have to find something fun to do because we've just been work, work, work. There he is. Hey, horse. Okay, we're heading to the coast. Everybody uh, mount up. Oh, who's this Poppin' Jay? Hey, nice hat you got there. You some kind of pirate? <laughs> oh, you guys are something else. Alright, let's go to the coast. And it is like I expected. It's plenty cold down here. And there's bandits. Hey, so Remember who we're looking uh He's in charge here. We're looking at these guys. Fifty bandit scum. Okay. That takes care of that. 
Well, there's more where that came from. I will send you off in style. What? What? Is there more? Somebody's hitting me with arrows. Shoot them, my friend. You dirty this world. Okay, let's do this. All right, let's see what these bandits have. Orphan's tear discovered. Uh oh, take care of them while I'm opening this. Well, close isn't good enough. Let's see. Let's try there. Nope, that's not enough. Let's try there. That's. Probably, maybe a little bit more. Nope, it's got to be right on it. There we go. Alright, we're going to take it all. And then find out what's going on out here. What are you guys doing? Playing with these bandits? You know, quit playing with these bandits. All right, let's, uh, is this the ship we're looking for? Better get a better weapon out. Everything okay? I don't know yet. Let's get on the ship and find out. Too. So, what is it we're looking for here? We're on the ship. This vessel's voyaging days are over. Is this the ship we're looking for? Or do we even need to be on the ship? What is it that we're looking for? Well, they're not going to need this cheese. Okay. So this place is known as Orphan's Tea. I would gladly shed a tear for an orphan. I am here so much for you. The bandits to live here. Well, fine. What are we looking for? He's got a meat pie. Ooh. All right, let's take a look at the journal. I'm not quite sure what we're supposed to do here. Go investigate the shipwreck Manon told you about. Manon reluctantly told... Me, the slaves are shipped out of Skyrim from an old abandoned mine near an old shipwreck on the coast, northwest of Solitude. He said a bandit named Gunlog heads up the operation. I should find the bandit and get to the bottom of this. So we're looking for a cave. All right, that kind of makes sense. Um, but we're about freezing to death. I wonder if they... We are sailing this ship anywhere, Captain. No, I don't think so either, but I'm not a captain. I'm going to rest, get something to eat, and hopefully get some daylight before we go find this cave. Okay, so we got a little rest. It's daylight. We had something to eat. Let's go find this cave. It's got to be nearby. Well, we'll just, if we draw our sword, we're going to move too slow. Is that a path right there? 
Uh, oh, there's more guys. Get ready. There's uh, more bad guys. Learn something from that fight. Don't get hit. Yeah, I think you're right. But that can't be all of them. There's got to be more. This must be the cave. The Orphan's Tear Mine. That doesn't sound very good. Oh my god, it's bright in here. Yes. Oh man, not only is it bright, it's colder than hell in here. Let's get this over with. Don't get in front of me again. I still shot him in the head. <laughs> Even though they jumped in front of me, I still shot him in the head. I guess sneaking's not going to do us any good. Aha. Uh oh, that doesn't look like... Oh my god, I almost shot the mother. Are you okay? Huh? Huh? You the leader? Hmm? What? Huh? Hmm? Okay, they're confused. Uh. Alright, you guys wait here. We're gonna go check this out. They don't... They're, they're confused. They don't know. No, ain't this is my guy. Why is it always foggy and dark down here? I can't see a dang thing. Aha, a cave. You guys always have to jump in front of me. Oh, jeez, I just shot. Uh, don't look. I shot her in the head. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Killed the bandit slavers. Zero, 13 remaining. Release the slave prisoners from the cell. All right. So we killed them all. They're all dead. Good deal. Requires a key. All right, have you got a key? He does. He does have a key. What are Derrett arrows? Those look kind of cool. The Hunting of Dismay. Creatures and people up to level 9 flee. Well, let's just take this here stuff. Oh, jeez, I made him naked. Sorry, didn't mean to make you naked. Didn't want your clothes, really. What do you got? Yes. Not much. His fur boots are better armor than what I'm wearing. Really? Okay, release the slave prisoners. Speak to the slave. Hey, slave. I don't know who you are, friend, but thank you. Will you go check outside and make sure it's safe for us to leave? You must be from... I heard that bandit say there's some others on the way to ship us out of here. Please, help us. I am helping you. There's my wife and son in there. I've got to help them. He's not going to make it if we don't hurry. Okay, I'll be right now, back. I'll see what I can do to get my family and the other man ready to get out of here. Please, make sure the coast is clear, and please, hurry. You must be from southern Skyrim. Okay, so make sure the coast is clear, slaves escape, completed, speak to the slave. Uh, I killed everybody. What, what, what do you want? Okay, you guys. Your husband's coming. Hang in there. You know, you could be sitting on that... Uh, wood over there instead of on the cold ground and you need to put some clothes on uh, there must be guys outside waiting for us yep you are starting to become oh for crying out loud find him and take him back to my 
Well, some hero I turn out to be. Oh, don't worry. The paralysis isn't permanent. But you may have a headache for a while. Man, what have you done to me? I suppose there's no harm in you knowing. It's a spell from a very arcane and ancient school of magic. I am one of only a few who can wield it these days. For a lesser skilled being, its effects are more harmful to the caster than the victim. In recent times, many died simply trying to learn it. But I have mastered it, even if it does leave me a little tired. Monologue much? But I don't think you really want to talk shop, do you? No. No. Of course not. Yeah. You've caused me quite the bit of trouble, you know. But be that as it may, I'm glad to finally meet you face to face. Well, I don't like this guy already. Well, I'm gl glad I could help, but can't say the feeling's mutual. Yes, charming to the last, I'm sure. But you do understand that it's simply a matter of my good graces that you're still alive, don't you? Do you think? But slaughtering an entire dispatch of old Mary's soldiers, including two Justicias, would go unnoticed by the Dominion. Were it not for me, that fetid little town you're trying to rebuild would have been razed to the ground by now. And the Thalmor would have once and for all put an end to your pitiful little band of miscreants. Oh, you look surprised. But don't worry. I know everything. The town. This Marcus Janus, and most of all Valerius Tiberius Arturia, and his pathetic remnants of the Keepers of Hatu. They were also once a great thorn in my side, and, like you, caused me not a little bit of trouble in the past. But their time, his time, and yours, has come to an end. Alright, so you butchered his wife and children, what do you expect? Expect? I expect him to die, like all men will die or serve the Dominion. Yeah, you know what you can the do the Dominion. The man has come and gone. It is now the time of the Ultima. You know, we were once a very patient people, but that patience has worn thin. So what do you want with me? Why haven't you killed me then? I could have killed you, but I did not. He said that already. Why? Yeah, that's what I just asked. Why? You must need me for something. Yes, good. You see, we're not so different, you and I. I killed his family and others. You killed my men at the prison. We're both murderers. It's all just a matter of perspective. I guess that's true enough. Um, nothing like you, though. Ah, uh, but yes, you are. You will see that in time. If you live. Besides that, I didn't go in that prison to kill anybody. I was just trying to go in and get somebody out. They attacked me. I ended it. So what is it you want? You will go get Valerius Tiberius Arturia and hand him over to me at the prison where you murdered my soldiers. Well, that's not going to be good for him, I guess, huh? I'll never do such a thing. Oh, but there is where you're wrong. You will, or else your friend, Marcus Janus, will die. Marcus? What have you done with him? As I said, I know everything about you and your friends. I know that yesterday he decided to take a little stroll down to Riverwood. You but know, you just can't be too careful these days. You never know when you might get kidnapped and brought to me. So, as you can see, you have little choice. Bring Valerius to me, and I might let Janus live. Don't bring him to me, and he will surely die, as will Valerius and you. So you see, Valerius is going to die, one way or another. This way, you at least get to spare the life of your friend. It's your choice. Now, yeah, some choice. you must sleep for a bit. And when you wake, you'll be back at the shore. You know what you must do. No, oh, not again. Oh. Guards, take him back to the shore. Just 
dumped by the water again. Where's everybody at? I guess it's just me. There they come. So you guys know what happened, huh? They want me to go get Val. Alright. Where's Zora? There she is. Boy, she's she's like a ghost. Alright, let's go back to Helgen. Uh, I don't like what we're going to have to do, but I don't see any other choice. Need to be wandering around. All right, guys, I don't see any point in rushing right out and telling Val, let's wait till morning. Get something to eat, something to drink, and warm up a little bit. Man, that coastline was cold. And, of course, they had to dump me right in the ice. Okay, I'm going to go up, take a nap, wait till morning. We'll go tell Val what's going on. I'm right here. Hey, you can come up and join me if you want. 